Good afternoon, the sun's out now. It's been uh, raining all day, which has been great for all of the greens out here, but not so good for the guitar town, but uh, you need that rain. It makes do. everything green. I love a good storm. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, you need both sides. Just like the message we're talking about today, well, you don't really need both sides, but you get both sides. Um, you guys have all heard the saying, where focus, where focus goes, energy flows. Meaning, you know, whatever you focus on, that's where all your energy goes. And I'm talking about maybe your energy, not just your focus of your energy, but also all your vibrational energy. Uh, in other words, if you're focused on being a positive person, you know, a real light giver, you attract other positive people, uh, positive events and situations, opportunities flow your way. The flip side is true as well. If you tend to be negative and have a real low, vi low vibration, you tend to attract negative people or low vibrational opportunities, um, things that really aren't that great. And that's just the way it works. And in general, we have uh, complete control over this because it is like a light switch. You can decide on every event that you run into. Is it positive or negative? And how does it affect me? And you can always look on the bright side, right? But once in a while, you can't uh, control some of the events that happen. You know, yesterday we were out with a uh, bunch of friends and um, having a blast and music outside in the sun and, and cocktails being delivered. We're saying, how great is this? Best day ever. Someone gets a call about a death of a family friend and it turns the whole uh, situation around um, until that person can kind of figure out, you know what, that person had a great life and you look at it that way. But I think that's one of the analogies I like to use because I've lost people very close to me, as you know. It's hard, but you can either think of the loss, which is really negative and painful, or you can mm -hmm. think of all the goodness, you, all the great time you have with that person and what a great life they had, right? Right. Well, the, the difficulty in this particular situation of a loss um, is that most of the time you're taken off guard, or even if you're not and you're preparing for it, it wreaks havoc with your emotional um, you know your emotional state and because it's not something that we're accustomed to dealing with often thank goodness right it's not a daily occurrence or you know it's not something that happens often in our life that we don't always know how to choose how to react well and I, I'm using right. an extreme example but people do run into roadblocks and speed bumps every day in their life. I can hear people out there saying, well, hey, I lost this sale or I lost my job or, right. you know, um, the a waiter brought me, a sale. the waiter brought a me the wrong job. dish that I ordered. Right. But those things are all things that can be replaced. And so therefore, it's, it's a lot easier to say, I can replace that. I'm going to choose to take this opportunity where I just got fired or I got laid off. Um, to really focus on my passion and so it's a lot easier a to choose to exactly to choose to turn something like that into a positive whereas a lot of times you know when you get some tragic news your initial response you're just not prepared to make the right choice which I think should always be the celebration of that person's life right 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 and you know as most of you know you know Jeffrey and I have lost somebody very very close to us a family member um, back in 2012 and um, every day we find so much joy in all the great memories and the celebration of his life instead of being sad for the loss right. because first of all you can't do anything about the loss but what joy we get for remembering all the amazing things that he brought right. to our life, right? Right. So, um, so the point is, if you can do it with something like that, exactly. you can do it with everything. That's the extreme, yeah. right? Because I, I counsel a lot of people, as you know, that call me, right. lost the job, lost the sale. And, you know, I understand, I don't want to make light of it, because this can be devastating to certain people until they put on the right 
thought pattern, right? Mm -hmm. right? And like you said, going out and going after the change. Right. But uh, everybody looks at things differently. And I think if you can train yourself to hit every obstacle that comes your way and think about the same way, it's like, what good is going to come out of this? Yes. What, what is the good that can come out of this? Even if it's remembering the goodness of what you had and celebrating that and moving on to something new. Right. So it's a, it's a challenge, but it's a, it's a, it's a great challenge that we have. That we're, we're born with the ability to choose. That's one of the greatest gifts that we all have as human beings. Absolutely. We have the ability to choose every day. Absolutely, we do, and and it's such a, you know, it's such a great gift of freedom to be able to make your own choices, and you know, choose to look at the positives or the, or the happy side of things, or, you know, if, if you choose the opposite. But then as Jeffrey said, whatever you project out there, if you're projecting positives out there, positives are gonna flow back because it's a natural attraction. But you attract it, right? the vibration, right? But if you're, if you're projecting, you know, uh, hatred or negativity or anything like that, out there it's almost like when when you're mad and you get your sleeve caught right actually i put, that, I put that i put that in the blog so you guys can see the blog uh, I, I i stole that from you karen said that the other day something wasn't going right and she, and she said what well, happens i think you said why you know why does your sleeve always get caught when things weren't going right and something right. happened it wasn't a big deal but your sleeve got caught my sleeve right got after caught. something spilt or something yeah, it was just funny it was just, and i had a laugh <laughs> about it but you know it's it's your sleeve doesn't get caught when you're well, being proposed to or something, yeah. you know, like... Really well, that's, like, that's what I was saying, basically, at the end of the day, I stole the sleeve getting caught. Yeah. Like, it, you know, when cool. things aren't going well, that's when your coffee spills. That's when you run out of gas. That's when you get a flat tire. That's it. All this stuff starts to come in, and, you know, you wonder, um, you know, do we bring this stuff upon ourselves? And the answer is yes. I mean, through vibrational energy, you attract. Like attracts like. Exactly. You get what you give. That uh, you is know. my famous saying in the Pearl household. Our two daughters have heard that from day one. You get what you give. And, you know, that goes for the good and the bad and the ugly. And, and I hope most of the time you use it for good. Right. Because if you give good, you get good. And that's... Uh, Jeffrey, you just had a situation where somebody posted something out there on... Um, on uh, LinkedIn, I think, or Facebook, I'm not sure. And um, he was telling his daughter who's um, disabled and has a, um, a helping dog uh, that people are good and this dog um, needs surgery at three. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, and it's a $5,000 surgery. And although he's going to pay for the surgery regardless, he set up a GoFundMe page because he wanted to show his young daughter how people can come together as a village and a community to help for the greater good of somebody right, else. Right. And um, so, you know, he put the GoFundMe page out there and we made a donation as many other people did. And he posted back to Jeffrey saying, you know, my little girl just ran out and gave me the tally of where we are after your donation. So thank you so much. You get what you give. I mean, you certainly, we didn't make that donation to make ourselves feel good. We made that donation because we thought it was an amazing point right. that he's trying to bring to her. And then you got this follow-up that was made us both feel like, wow, that was so great. You got, you gave good, you got good. Right? Yeah. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from the base of Copper Mountain. And uh, click off here somewhere to, to subscribe so you can keep up with our other videos. Appreciate it. See you guys.